reactions of acids. An acid plus a metal, when combined, will always make a salt and hydrogen gas. An example of that. Nitric acid plus zinc will make hydrogen gas and what's left? Zinc nitrate. We'll look at the formula here. HNO3 plus ZN. So the ZN hooks up with the NO3 to make zinc nitrate and the two hydrogens get left to make hydrogen gas. Another example. Sulfuric acid plus magnesium makes magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas. So, write down your formula for sulfuric acid and magnesium and then you'll be able to work out the products. So, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, aqueous, don't forget your states, plus magnesium, solid, make hydrogen gas, H2, and what's left? Magnesium hooks up with SO4 to make magnesium sulfate aqueous, that's the salt. So an acid and a metal always make a salt plus hydrogen gas. Okay, so you can see here, this is what happens when um, magnesium metal is added to nitric acid on this side or hydrochloric acid on this side. You can see this vigorous reaction this is producing hydrogen gas. If we were to light a match in front of, on top of this, this would be a big explosion. This has been done in a fume cup, and as you can see, these are quite strong acids being used. An acid plus a metal hydroxide or a metal oxide will make salt and water. So, an example, hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide makes sodium chloride plus water. HCl plus NaOH makes sodium chloride, which is the salt. The sodium there has hooked up with chloride, and what's left is H2O. And that makes H2O. Remember, water is always liquid. Don't forget your states. How do you tell if your salt is soluble? You look it up on the solubility table. Hydrochloric acid and calcium oxide will make calcium chloride plus water. Hydrochloric acid and calcium oxide, you know they're going to make a salt plus water. Here's your water. Remove your two hydrogens and your oxygen. What's your salt that's left? Calcium plus chloride. And the last reaction is an acid plus a metal carbonate or a metal hydrogen carbonate will make a salt plus water and if you have a look you can see the carbonate there it's going to make carbon dioxide so nitric acid plus sodium carbonate will make sodium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide 2HNO3 plus Na2CO3 will make always 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 water plus carbon dioxide. The hardest part is figuring out what the salt's going to be. You've got sodium and you've got nitrate. So you just need to make sure that those valencies are balanced there to get sodium nitrate. Um, and as I said, make sure that you check your solubility table. And here's just showing you um, some marble chips, which are um, calcium carbonate, which are reacting with hydrochloric acid. And that gives what gas? Carbon dioxide. Excellent. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of example questions. What I want you to do is have a go at these. You need to write both full and ionic equations for the next three reactions. Magnesium and sulfuric acid. Okay, what you need to do is think about all of our little rules or our three little rules that we learn above. You've got a metal and an acid. What's it going to make? It's going to make a salt plus hydrogen gas. Okay, pause this now. Have a go at the next three questions um, and then come back and correct. So here are the answers. Check them carefully. You might want to pause them on each of these pages because I'll just run through them quickly. So the chemical equation for magnesium plus sulfuric acid, it will make magnesium sulfate the salt plus hydrogen gas. 
and here's your ionic equation. Make sure you're carefully put in, or you've checked your states, and you've also checked your charges on your ionic equation. Aluminium plus nitric acid will make aluminium nitrate, the salt, plus hydrogen gas, and your ionic equation. And sulfuric acid and sodium oxide will make sodium sulfate plus water. And again, your ionic equation. Double check these carefully. And if you've gotten those right, you can move on with chapter 13 questions. But if you're still confused about how the answers came about or those reactions came about, have a look at the work solutions which are to follow. Okay. So, magnesium plus H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, will make hydrogen gas plus a salt. What's the salt going to be? Magnesium plus sulfate. So, it makes magnesium sulfate. Make sure you check your valencies, that these balance out, and check your solubility table so that you know whether this is aqueous or solid. Also, make sure you've got your other states written in. Then, you need to make sure this is balanced. One magnesium, one magnesium, two hydrogen, two hydrogen, one sulfur, one sulfur, four oxygen, four oxygen. Brilliant. Next thing we need to do is look at the ionic equation. So let's see what's changing states. We've got magnesium going from solid to aqueous magnesium. It will be included in the ionic equation. Hydrogen goes from hydrogen aqueous to hydrogen gas, again included. Sulf, um, sulfate. Aqueous goes to sulfate aqueous. That's our spectator iron. We do not include that in the ionic equation. So our overall ionic equation looks something like this. Magnesium solid plus two hydrogen ions goes to magnesium and two plus aqueous plus hydrogen gas. H2 hydrogen gas. H2 is hydrogen gas. Please don't make the mistake of just writing H. You will not balance your reaction um, and Hydrogen gas is always H2. Oxygen gas is always O2. Gases hang out in pairs. Balance this. Two hydrogens here, so we need two hydrogen ions on this side. Next one. Aluminium plus nitric acid. First figure out what you've got. A metal plus an acid. Great, we know that it makes salt plus water. Aluminium solid plus nitric acid, HNO3, makes hydrogen gas plus our salt which will be aluminium plus nitrate so aluminium nitrate look at your valencies make sure that they balance out and check your solubility table once you've done that you just need to balance the entire equation to aluminium to aluminium six hydrogen three times two is six hydrogen one nitrogen, ooh, beg your pardon, sorry, six nitrogen, two times three is six nitrogen, plus oxygen three times six is 18, so I've got three times three is nine oxygen, times two oxygen is 18 oxygen. Ionic equation, let's look what doesn't change state. Aluminium went from solid to aqueous, it's included in the ionic equation. Hydrogen goes from aqueous to gas, we include hydrogen. Aluminium, oh we already said that that has to be included, and um, your hydrogen gas gets included. Your nitrate is your spectator ion, so it is not included in your final reaction. Again, balance your reaction. Most of the time you'll find if you use the same numbers from above, it will balance out. Sometimes you can make these a little bit simpler. Sulfuric acid and sodium oxide. Sodium oxide plus an acid, an oxide and acid makes water plus a salt. So, sulfuric acid, sodium oxide will make water. We get the H through in the O, and that leaves us with sodium sulfate. Remember, valencies, and then balance the whole equation. So this is already balanced. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one sulfur, one sulfur, four oxygen, four oxygen, 
2 sodium, 2 sodium, I beg your pardon, 5 oxygen and 5 oxygen. Your ionic hydrogen has gone from aqueous to liquid, so hydrogen is included. Liquid hydrogen in the end, or water. Um, sodium goes from sodium solid to sodium aqueous. Sodium oxide is included. You cannot break up a solid, the same as you can't break up a liquid here. So you always have to write these in full. Um, and then of course you get the sodium, which is the uh, product here on this side, sodium ions. Make sure this is balanced. You'll see here the numbers don't match above, so you need to think about that. So I've got two hydrogen ions, two hydrogen here, two sodium, two sodium, one oxygen, one oxygen. I have a balanced equation.